Continue your quest down the hero's path on October 19th and 20th at Theros Game Day. Gather the hero cards that you collected from the Theros pre-release and launch weekend, and get ready for a brand new and totally unique play experience. Face the Hydra! Here, a few players got a sneak peek at what the Hydra is capable of and survived to tell the tale. Are you guys shuffled up? Yeah, I'm ready. I, think so. I don't think the Hydra can cut a deck. Are this we allowed to like look at each other's hands like two-headed giant? Of so course we can. What you got? My hand is sweet. Well, you get the top card of the Hydra's library. Noxious Hydra Breath. Choose one. Noxious Hydra Breath is five damage each player or destroy each tapped non-head creature. All right, let's go. All right, so, so two dead combat heads. damage. I'm going to kill this Hydra head. Uh, everyone, gain two life. life. And I think we do the same with the other one, too. Yeah. So right, we yeah. only have one Hydra head left? I mean, it could all go bad. I I guess. We haven't had any of the elite things or whatever. I mean, if you want to just try and end it here, I can Searing Spear that thing. Yeah, just like a normal game of Magic, a lot of it's the draw. If the Hydras, you know, spawn two at a time, then you're going to have a hard time. It's got some nice imagery, too. You know, you kill a head, are two more going to pop out, or is it not going to grow any? And then the spells, because you know, the Hydra's doing stuff on its turn as well. It's not just sitting back passively, right? Like, it, it can really hose you. It can kill all your creatures, or it can deal you five damage, and that's each person that's taking five. It's definitely been tested a lot, and it's actually, I, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a close one. It was it came down to I had Advent of the Worm, and uh, if I didn't die that turn, I was really gonna start taking down those heads. But he, he got me, you know, right in time. Well, it was fun playing with this for the first time because I didn't even know what all the cards did. Like every every turn, I'd draw something and have to read it and not know what was gonna happen. So the unpredictability and uh, like the challenge of playing around effects that you don't necessarily know what what they are is is pretty interesting. A, you can just play by yourself, like that's what I did right here. I didn't even have anybody playing as the Hydra, I just used the cards on my own. Um, and B, you can play a non-competitive game, like if you and your friend want to play Magic but not necessarily like play against each other, maybe you don't have two decks that are equally balanced, then you play together on the same team against the Hydra, it's a lot more fun. Should you succeed in vanquishing the Hydra, you'll be rewarded with Planeswalker points, the Slayer Hero card, and the good graces of the gods of Theros. For more information about game day, contact your local game store. To find a store near you, go to wizards.com locator.